Hello, my name is Dr. Carlo Oder, emergency physician and founder of edexitvideo.com. EDXit Video is a website that provides free patient medical education videos, mostly about emergency room related diagnosis. In this video, we're going to talk about acute pancreatitis. The pancreas is an organ located behind the stomach that produces chemicals called enzymes, as well as the hormones insulin and glucagon. Most of the time, the enzymes are only active after they reach the small intestine, where they are needed to digest food. When these enzymes somehow become active inside the pancreas, they eat, they digest the tissue of the pancreas itself. This causes swelling, bleeding, which is hemorrhage, and damage to the pancreas and its blood vessels. Acute pancreatitis affects men more than women. Certain diseases, surgeries, and habits make you more likely to develop this condition. The condition is most often caused by alcoholism and alcohol abuse, 70% of the cases in the United States. Genetics may also be a factor in some cases. Sometimes the cause is just unknown. Other conditions linked to this disease are the following. Autoimmune problems like attack of one's own body, blockage of the duct or common bile duct, damage to the duct or pancreas during surgery, high blood levels of triglycerides, and trauma. Also, cystic fibrosis, hemolytic uremic syndrome, hyperparathyroid, Kawasaki disease, Ray syndrome, and medications like estrogen, corticosteroids, diuretics as a thioprine, and viral infections like mumps, coxsackie, mycoplasma, and campylobacter, which is actually a bacteria. Symptoms. The main symptom of pancreatitis is abdominal pain, felt in the upper left side or middle uh, part of the abdomen. The pain may be worse within minutes after eating or drinking at first, especially if foods have a high fat content. It becomes constant and more severe, lasting for several days. It may be worse when laying flat on the back. It may spread or radiate to the back or below the left shoulder blade. People with acute pancreatitis often look ill and have a fever, nausea, vomiting, and sweating. You may also have clay-colored stool, gassy, hiccups, indigestion, jaundice, which is a yellow discoloration of the skin, and abdominal distension. Now let's talk about some signs and tests. The doctor will perform a physical exam which may show you have abdominal tenderness or a lump, low blood pressure, fever, rapid heart rate or rapid breathing. Some laboratory tests will be done. Tests that show the release of pancreatic enzymes include increased blood amylase level, increased serum, blood lipase level, and increased urine amylase level. Imaging tests that can show inflammation of the pancreas include an abdominal CT scan, abdominal MRI, and or abdominal ultrasound. Treatment. Treatment often requires a stay in the hospital and may involve pain medications, fluids given through a vein, and stopping food or fluids by mouth to limit the activity of the pancreas. In other words, let it rest. Occasionally, a tube will be inserted through the nose or mouth to remove the contents of the stomach and nasogastric suctioning tube. This may be done if vomiting or severe pain do not improve, or if a paralyzed bowel, a paralytic ileus, develops. The tube will stay for one or two days, but up to one to two weeks if not feeling better. Treating the condition that caused the problem can prevent repeated attacks. In some cases, therapy is needed too. Drain fluid that has collected in or around the pancreas, like a drainage of a cyst, to remove gallstones and relieve blockages of the pancreatic duct. In most severe cases, surgery is needed to remove dead or infected pancreatic tissue itself. It is important that you avoid smoking, alcoholic drinks, and fatty foods after the attack has improved. Prognosis. Most cases go away in about a week. However, some cases develop into a life-threatening illness. The death rate is high with hemorrhagic pancreatitis, liver, heart, or kidney impairment, necrotizing pancreatitis, and pancreatitis can return. 
The likelihood of it returning depends on the cause and how successfully it can be treated. Follow up, follow up, follow up. Call your health provider you have, if you have intense, constant abdominal pain. If you develop other symptoms of acute pancreatitis or otherwise, you're really not improving. And return to the emergency department if you have fevers, chills, gross blood in the urine. Any new or progression of pre-existing symptoms should prompt an emergent evaluation. For other videos like this one, please go to www.edexitvideo.com. But remember that these are educational videos and should never replace the care or attention of a medical healthcare professional.